apologies for drawing this picture that you've seen before. But uh, this seeing the row picture, first of all, for n equal 2, two equations and two unknowns, it's the right place to start. OK, so we've got the solution, the point that lies on both lines. Now can I come to the column picture? Pay attention. This is the key point. So the column picture. I'm now going to look at the columns of the matrix. I'm going to look at this part and this part. I'm going to say that the, the x part is really, so, so is really x times, you see I'm putting the two, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting the two equations at once. That part, and then I have a y, and, and in the first equation it's multiplying a minus 1, and in the second equation a 2, and on the right-hand side, 0 and 3. You see the columns of the matrix? The columns of A are here, and the right-hand side B is there. And now what is the equation asking for? It's asking us to find, somehow to, to combine that vector and this one in the right amounts to get that one. It's asking us to find the right linear combination. This is called a linear combination. And it's the most fundamental operation in the whole course. It's a linear combination of the columns. That's what we're seeing on the left side. Again, I don't want to write down a big definition. You, you can see what it is. There's column one, there's column two. I multiply by some numbers, and I add. That's a combination, a linear combination, and I want to make those numbers the right numbers to produce 0, 3. OK. Now I want to draw a picture that uh, represents what this, this is algebra. What's the geometry? What's the picture that goes with it? OK. So again, these vectors have two components, so I better Draw a picture like that. So can I put down these columns? I'll draw these columns as they are, and then I'll do, do a combination of them. So the first column is over 2 and down 1, right? So there's the first column. The first column, column 1. It's the vector 2 minus 1. The second column is, let's see, I go over minus 1 is the first component and up 2. It's here. There's column 2. So this, again, you, you see what its components are. Its components are minus 1, 2. Good. That's this guy. Now, what is, what, now I have to take a combination. Uh, what combination shall I take? Uh, why not the right combination? What the hell? OK. So what the combination I'm going to take is the right one to produce 0, 3. And, let, and then we'll see it happen in the picture. So the right combination is to take x as one of those and two of these. It's because we already know that that's the right x and y. So why not take the correct combination here and see it happen? OK. So how do I picture this, this linear combination? So I start with this vector. That's already here. So that's 1 of column 1. That's 1 times column 1, right there. And now I want to add on. So I'm going to hook the next vector on to the front of the arrow. We'll start the next vector, and it'll go this way. So let's see. Can I do it right? Uh, if I added on one of these vectors, it would go left 1 and up 2. So it would go left 1 and up 2. So it would probably get us to there. Maybe I'll do dotted line for that. OK. That's one of column 2 tucked on to the end. But I wanted to tuck on two of column 2. So that, the second one will go up left 1 and up 2 also. It'll probably end there. And there's another one. So, so what I've put in here is 2 of column 2. Added on. 
And where did I end up? What are the coordinates of this result? What do I get when I take one of this plus two of that? I do get that, of course. There it is, there it is, x is 0, y is 3, that's b, that's the, that's the answer we wanted. And how do I do it? You see, I do it just like the first component, I have a 2 and a, and a minus 2, that produces a 0. And in the second component, I have a minus 1 and a 4, they combine to give the 3. But look at this picture. So th here's our key picture. I, I combine this column and this column to get, maybe I better, to get this guy. That was the B. That's the 0, 3. OK. So uh, that idea of linear combinations is crucial. And, and also, do we want to think about this question? Sure, why not? What are all the combinations? If I took can I go back to x's and y's? This is a, this is a question for really, it's, it's going to come up over and over, but why don't we see it once now? If I took all the x's and all the y's, all the combinations, what would be all the results? And actually, the result would be that I could get any right-hand side at all. The combinations of this and this would fill the whole plane. You can tuck that away. We'll uh, dis explore it further. But this idea of what linear combination gives B and what do all the linear combinations give, what are all the possible achievable right-hand sides B, that's going to be basic. OK, can I move to? Three equations and three unknowns, because it's easy to uh, picture the two by two case. Let me do a three by three example. Okay, I'll, I'll sort of start it the same way. Say maybe two x minus y, and maybe I'll take no no z's is a zero, and maybe a minus x and a two y, and maybe a minus z is a oh let me make that a minus one. And uh, just for variety, let me take uh, um, minus 3z, minus 3y's. I should keep the y's in that line. And 4z's is, say, 4. OK. That's three equations. I'm in three dimensions, x, y, z. And uh, I don't have a solution yet. 